The bombing of Tabriz. My brother's violin lessons stopped by bombs. Leo lifts his bow. Machine gun answers from below. Billiard balls hitting, Heron Assateur explains. Again, blowouts, truck tires. Tune the violin. Peter runs to the window. White dots roar. Leo is at the window. We are all at the window, watching wings. The door opens. Papa home midday. Bazaar closed, buzzing. Mirand! They hit Mirand! Hit the women, the children? Mistook tents of vacationers for military. Herrick gathers papers, burns all, buries something. We move into basement, down big steps, huddled in unfinished room. Servants set up beds as light from narrow window dims. Herrick strikes a match. We sit quiet, listening. Roaring toward us, a bomber. Mama whispers, screams, blow it out, they'll see us. In the dark, I hold my breath. The bomber lowers over our roof. Mama's hand tightens. Leo, still in her belly. She left Russia, those communists now tearing our debris skies. The roof buzzed, our house shakes. In the silence between bombs, tell us a story, Herrick asks. Papa starts, his voice holding us in the dark. A Persian woman, young, pretty, was told to marry an older man, and so she did. But as fate was habit, she fell in love with a young man. They found them together in the very act. The husband saw with his own eyes. Accused of adultery, she was taken. A squadron of bombers, prisoner. Caught in the act, she was sentenced to die taken as she struggled up the many steps of the ark. The fortress two blocks from our house, a bomb hit, bounced off. At the top, her head covered, her screams muffled, walked to the edge, pushed off. As she fell, her chador opened as if a parachute. She landed on her feet, an omen from Allah. They let her go. Listening to the light in Papa's voice, I let go, fall into sleep, Think, if ever accused, if ever taken to a high tower, I will wear a full skirt, carry an umbrella, open it, float down, land. In the dark basement for two nights, with each bomb reverberating, I imagine my death. At dawn, we go upstairs, find Russian soldiers patrolling our dirt street, young, light-haired boys. Mama forgets her fears, calls out through the bars of our window, Drast Vyasti! The young man lowers his gun, blue eyes smiling up. Ya maskvichka. One after the other they chime. Mama talks of the best borscht. Other soldiers gather, look up at their native tongue in the strange Azerbaijani city. I stay quiet. How can she talk to those communists? She turns to me. They're only boys.